Hey True Seekers, it's Nathaniel here with another strategy series video. Today we'll be talking about the win conditions for Holy Spirit. Start off with, we have Floraline. Floraline is an 8 for 2, but also has the ability if you're facing a Cine, it has no activation cost. So that way it can become a free 8 going into a Cine. Um, basically this helps you defeat Cines more, and defeating Cines is a win condition, so I'm going to count it. Next up. You have Gut Piece Level 2. Gut Piece Level 2 is a win condition because it grows off of uh, Gut Piece Level 1. So you need to hold two cards for this. Gut Piece Level 1, Gut Piece Level 2. Has the ability when this card is played from your hand to grow Gut Piece Level 1. You may reshuffle your hand your deck and draw six cards. And draw power is pretty important. It's also a support card. Next up, we have Strider Level 2. Strider Level 2 is a 1 for 8. So you need a stride level 1 and a stride level 2. He only costs 1 Holy Spirit. His action is search a deck for any faith, hope, or love animal, excluding ultra, and placing it directly into your small group. So even though he's a 1 for 8, which is excellent value on its own, comparatively, like Agape Sword is like a 2 for 10. Uh, so he has a lot more uh, value uh, in that regard. But he also allows you to go grab another animal and place it in your small group, thus giving you the potential to gain more points. Because that happens during the score phase. Then we have our tens. So this is Quillo level two. Quill level two grows on top of Quill level one and has a fellowship bonus, meaning that you need a total of three cards to pull this off. But it also has to be uh, faith, hope, or love, and it has to be a level one animo. So it can be any of the three other kinds, but it, could, but it also has to be a level one animo in order to get that fellowship bonus off of it. So, and he ends up becoming 2 for 10, which is good value. Next up, we have Hybrid Level 3. Hybrid Level 3 is a 2 for 10, and oftentimes we attach Murr to him to make him a 1 for 10. But his action is search your deck for up to two Virtuous Animo that are either level 2 or level 3. So he's more like a support card with his action, but he is a 2 for 10, so he is great value. Next up, we have Aquilion Level 3, who is a 1 for 10. It has the action that says search your deck for up to three standard power cards and place them into your power pool and you shuffle your deck afterwards. So as a 1 for 10, you can set up the rest of the power cards that you'll need. So you have your Truth Seeker and say if it's Simon or Ellie, you pay one, activate them, you grab one, two, three, and you'll just need two more power cards. So you play one that turn and you get three and then you have one more next turn and you'll be set up for your power cards we also went for 10 which is which is one of the greatest values all in the game so quillion level three is really good next up we have an 11 uh, virtue point uh animo that has the action of search your discard pile for the next growth stage of any animal in your small group and you may instantly grow those animo so nico level three is a very powerful because you can have like a bunch of level 1s or level 2s and suddenly you can just grow them with the animal that are in your discard pile. So he's really good with faith animo that recycle a lot and go to the discard pile. Or I use him in my mono holy spirit deck so that way you can just grow the animo because I just run a lot of level 3s in that deck. But he's also a 3 for 11 which is still pretty good value. Next up we have fuzzworm level 3. Fuzzle on level 3 is a 2 for 12, which is amazing value. Some of the best value in the game uh, for Holy Spirit. But he has an action that says search your deck for an equipment card and attach it to an animal in your small group. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So Fuzzworm level 3 goes into an equipment deck. And he's very powerful. Uh, next up, we have Draylight level 3 from Fearless. So Draylight level 3 from Fearless says... Action, choose an animal in your small group, and you may search your deck for up to two growth stages for that animal and instantly grow it into its level two or level three growth stage. Shuffle afterwards. So the way that he works is that you say you have a level one animal in your small group, you can activate him, and then go grab the level two or level th level three that you need and just grow it instantly to its max. Uh, he's really good. I really enjoy using him in my Holy Spirit deck. Next up. We have Todokin level 2. Now he is a 3 for 10, which isn't as excellent value. It's actually just kind of fair value for a level 3. But he has that fellowship bonus for 13, so he goes into that faith deck with the Holy Spirit. And being a 3 for 10 is really good. He doesn't have any actions or abilities, though. Next up, 
We got Draylight level 3 from Cross Trainers. He has the ability says when this card is played from your hand to grow Draylight level 2, you may search your deck for any card. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So, he's a really good support card, but he also is a 3 for 13, which makes him a win condition. And uh, uh, I saw, and now if you combine this with the uh, Fearless uh, Draylight level 2, you'll be able to basically in the turn, search the top 5, add one card to your hand, return the rest, and grow with level 3, search your deck for any card. So you get two cards off of one growth line. Moving on to our Ultra Animo, we have Nico Ultra, who's a 1 for 6. And right now he is totally being outclassed by a couple other Animo, like Kalbeka, who's a uh, 1 for 5, but also has a Fellowship bonus, which makes it a 1 for 10. Then we have Razbear Ultra, who's a 3 for 10, who gets outshined by another Animo that I will show you later on. Uh, we also have Hybird. Uh, hybrid level or hybrid ultra hybrid ultra is a three for eight but you use it for that three for 13 with the fellowship bonus so he's pretty good then you have prayer going ultra and Draylight ultra they have the same value which is a four for 13 which isn't the greatest value but it's still pretty up there and pretty balanced it's just that now we have two new ultras to add to this which are from fearless which is Todokan Ultra and Aquilion Ultra. So Todokan Ultra, he's just a 2 for 10, which is better than Razbear. So Razbear gets outshined now. However, then we have Aquilion Ultra, who's a 1 for 10. However, he has a ability that says, this card takes up two spaces in your small group and may not be activated in the same turn which is added to your small group. I think that he's, uh, as a 1 for 10, that he's overbalanced. Because um, his ability says that he takes up two spaces in your small group and may not be activated in the same turn, which he's added to your small group. Which, we use him in the one cost deck. Uh, that's his only purpose for us right now. So, but I think uh, Quillion Ultra does have like a lot of potential, even though I do think he's overbalanced with his limitations. Because he could just take up two spaces, um, or he could have just been um, said that he can't be activated in the same turn he's placed in your small group. Uh, but by making it both, it's kind of like you have a dead space. So we like to see Aquilion Ultra extremely early game in our Sadie 1 cost deck. Anyways, that's all the win conditions for the Holy Spirit. Uh, so I'm going to bring this video to a close. In the meantime, true seekers, keep learning virtues and defeating sinews.